According to the Navy's website, 92% of the carrier crew has been tested, 585 have tested positive, with more than 3,700 testing negative and more than 3,900 having been moved off the ship. During Monday's media briefing, Joint Region Medianus Commander Rear Admiral John Minoni, however, was guarded with giving any other specifics. When asked whether any sailors that were moved to quarantine hotels had since tested positive, the officer would not provide a definitive response. I'll just tell you again, uh, anybody who said that's any symptoms is immediately evaluated, immediately pulled out of the hotel. Admiral Minoni did, however, confirm that one sailor that broke quarantine was removed and is currently under investigation. There was a break of a quarantine uh, in one of the hotels. Uh, that sailor, as I committed to the governor uh, and, and the community of Guam, that sailor was pulled then from the hotel. Uh, it was all internal to the hotel. That sailor was pulled from the hotel, taken back to Naval Base Guam. Meanwhile, although the primary mission is to get Theodore Roosevelt's sailors healthy and back on the ship, the Admiral says simultaneously to build additional medical capacity for the island's civilian population should the governor sound the alarm. We are also bringing additional capabilities to this island. Those, those capabilities aren't built yet, uh, but that will bring with them additional medical providers uh, as well as support personnel uh, that will be placed. And the governor and I will announce those facilities at a, a later date, but they are in work. Uh, as we speak. Minoni does add that request, however, has not been made by the governor.